2022 Maserati MC20 In-Depth Review In today's video we are going to discuss about the new 2022 Maserati MC20 In-Depth, from interior to exterior, and every minute detail of every feature. So without any further ado let's just dive into it. I'm going to paraphrase Winston Zeddemore from the original Ghostbusters, when someone asks you if you want to drive the Maserati MC20, you say yes. With a carbon fiber structure, a hellacious 621 horsepower twin turbo V6, and neck wrenching cornering power, the 2023 Maserati MC20 is an exotic street car that smacks you in the face with a race car driving experience. Its slinky Italian esque supercar shape and butterfly style doors have passers by staring at it just like they do at Ferraris and Lamborghinis. The new Cielo Spider convertible allows for open air cruising and being seen at the touch of a button. Like many a supercar, though, the MC20 comes with its own specific set of drawbacks. While its suspension is compliant enough for the occasional road trip, the car's cargo capacity is minuscule, you'll need your administrative assistant to follow you with your luggage. Maserati also offers virtually no driver assistance features on the MC20, there's no adaptive cruise control or lane keeping assist. So be it. From the view out the windshield to its cacophony of wild engine sounds to its butt-kicking performance, the MC20 is made for hardcore enthusiast drivers with the money to indulge themselves in a car with overwhelming character. What's new for 2022? For the MC20's second model year, the Cielo Spider convertible joins the lineup. It features a retractable glass roof that stows electrically in just 12 seconds. When the top is in place, its electrochromic glass panel can be changed from clear to opaque should the sun be shining a little too brightly. Maserati says the Cielo Spider offers the same amount of passenger and cargo room as the coupe model, but that only means that the cargo space is equally paltry. The convertible model will be offered with an optional and exclusive paint color Aquamarina which is available only on the Prima Siri Launch Edition trim, of which only 60 will be built. Maserati hasn't released pricing for the Cielo Spider convertible yet, but it will almost certainly command a hefty premium over the coupe model. These are entry-level prices in the exotic car segment, by the way. Still, we'd save the premium Maserati is bound to charge for the convertible and go with the coupe. Most of the MC20's most desirable features come standard, but we'd suggest springing for the optional front suspension lift mechanism to help that low nose to clear any speed bumps. How is the MC20 on the racetrack? Willow Springs is billed as the fastest road in the West, though the years have not been kind to the racing surface. The pavement is beset by ripples that intensify with speed, and any off-track excursions are met with large rocks and berms that can ruin your decade. Leaving the pits, the MC20 sings rather than roars, with the six cylinders producing a wonderfully mechanical alto voice. Power builds smoothly and with linear precision that encourages rather than intimidates. The gears are well spaced to keep power on tap without taxing the driver with a constant litany of upshifts and downshifts. It's easy to hustle the MC20 around all nine turns at Willow using only third, fourth and, briefly, fifth gear. After a warm-up lap for familiarity, I floor the pedal onto the front straightaway as I see my passenger's grip increase on the grab handle. Just past a set of braking cones, I forcefully press into the brake pedal and my chest correspondingly presses into the seatbelt. The MC20 feels well balanced for track duty as I then gently go with lighter pressure on the brakes while easing some steering input to the left for Willow's first turn. Taking care to stay on the racing line, but also avoiding clipping the well-worn rumble strips, I ease back into the throttle. The wheel unwinds to center, by which time I'm back to full throttle. A quick stab at the brakes into the long right-hand turn 2 and the pavement ripples get the MC20 suspension oscillating like a washing machine on its spin cycle. Subsequent laps see my bravery and velocity increase. So too does the prominence of Willow Springs washboard pavement in the speedway like turn 8. Thankfully, the adept suspension tuning keeps the MC20 from skipping like a rock across the peaks and valleys. Somewhere between laps 3 and 4, I start to feel a bit more squirm from the MC20's exclusively engineered Bridgestone tires and know they need a breather. A half-lap cooldown is all that's needed to reload for another two enthusiastic laps. The tires, and indeed the entirety of the MC20, are an excellent communicator in this regard. It seems to provide the driver with plenty of visceral information to know how much further you can dip into the car's performance potential. 
The MC20 has the rare attribute of being an approachable track day companion that is eager to charge harder as your trust grows. It may not set new lap records, but it is extraordinarily entertaining, nonetheless. Where most supercars terrify with unforgiving driving dynamics, the MC20 gracefully and gleefully fulfills with easily approachable performance limits. How is the MC20 on the road? This is where the Maserati MC20 shows that it is not a supercar. It's better. With a light tug of the recessed handle, the driver's door stretches out and skyward like a waking butterfly's wings. There's barely any effort needed. The seats ride low to the ground, but the door opening is large and the side sill is narrow. There are no awkward contortions needed to slip in or out. The seats themselves are firm but not punishing, with power adjustments to easily pick your preferred position. Pulling the door closed is almost as effortless as opening it. Under moderate acceleration, the engine and exhaust volume are pleasingly perfect, with a subtle turbo whine and whoosh heard just over your left shoulder. It's not overly brash, and there are no obnoxious manufactured pops or crackles out the tailpipes. It's civilized while remaining exciting. At highway speeds, road noise is prominent, and you hear every tiny pebble strike the underside of the carbon fiber tub. In the soft suspension setting, the MC20 is acceptably compliant for touring. I could see driving two or three hours behind the wheel before thinking about taking a break. For a high-performance coupe that slots in between a sports car and a supercar, that's quite a feat. What else should you know about the MC20? The MC20 is a delight to drive, whether you're on a racetrack or on a leisurely tour. In keeping with its sub-supercar placement, it is not as convenient as the typical sports car, but it is far easier to live with than a supercar. It has a trunk between the engine and taillights, and it would likely accept a carry-on roller bag but not much else. There is also a small trunk under the nose, but you may struggle to get anything larger than a briefcase in there. The infotainment is relatively easy to use as long as you're stationary. The touchscreen is mounted just a bit too low to keep one eye on the road and the rather small on-screen buttons are difficult to press when in motion. Then again, this is a driver's car, and entertainment is better found with your eyes up. Outward visibility is limited to what you need to see. The roofline cuts off much of the sky, and the view off the back is distorted by the polycarbonate rear hatch. The traditional rearview mirror is not helpful, but the virtual mirror displays that projects an image from a rear-facing camera makes up for that. Unlike past Maseratis, the MC20 does not share any engine components with Ferrari. We're told it was all developed within Maserati. Also, the MC20 proudly leans into its Italian heritage, with the chassis sourced from Dallara, brakes from Brembo, seatbelts from Sabelt, upholstery from Alcantara and audio from Sonus Faber. Che Bella Machina In the narrow gap between sports cars and supercars, there are few vehicles that are competitive with the Maserati MC20. These include the Lamborghini Huracan, the McLaren GT, and the Porsche 911 Turbo S. Prices start around $210,000, and all 2022 models have been spoken for and some deliveries have already taken place. If you're interested in a 2023 model, you should act quickly. Maserati won't divulge production numbers, but we suspect it will be a hot commodity that will sell out quickly. The MC20 comes with the same standard warranty package as the other Maserati models, which isn't really anything special. Rivals such as the Audi R8 and the Porsche 911 offer slightly more value here, as both offer the first scheduled maintenance visit free of charge. And this was all about the 2022 Maserati MC20. Thank you so much for watching this video don't forget to subscribe to latest luxury cars channel do press the bell icon for more exciting videos like this.